Ambitious targets have been set by the UN to achieve net zero by 2050. Atkins is an engineering and project management consultancy leading water sector sustainability. We went to find out how they're supporting their clients delivering net zero water supply and wastewater services. I think chemical engineers have always tried to minimise energy, make things more efficient, look for new ways of making things. At Atkins, we're working with many of the water companies in the UK, helping them with their journey to net zero. Atkins is one of the world's leading engineering and project management consultancies, helping clients deliver positive change. We're a global company. We've got about 40,000 uh, engineers around the world. Uh, we work with many of the biggest operators um, in, in their space and certainly across nuclear, water, defence, transportation. And we're here today with one of our key clients in Thames Water and their fantastic thermal hydrolysis plant, which makes their entire site operate at carbon neutral. This site is digesting the sludge from about half a million people, producing enough electricity to run the whole of the Basingstoke sewage works, as well as selling some to the electricity grid afterwards. So this site is one of the few self-sustaining ones we have in the business. The water sector as a whole is aiming to become carbon neutral by 2030. That means big changes and smarter thinking. The water sector consumes a lot of power, uh, up to 3% of the UK's energy consumption. Um, things like pumping and aeration and also the water sector is treating wastewater, protecting the environment and providing safe wholesome drinking water to customers. So the biggest challenges for the water sector are meeting those obligations for the environment, meeting the obligations of their customers while obviously targeting net zero. So much of the work that chemical engineers do goes unnoticed and yet you come to a site like this and you realise that work is vital and it impacts all of us. Chemical engineering solutions are helping us solve some of the biggest energy challenges facing us, especially on the path to net zero. In 2019, we published a groundbreaking report called Engineering Net Zero, and this was to take the high-level uh, aspirations that we all have for getting to net zero and turn it into a clear plan, a blueprint. Since then, we've been working with big clients like Thames Water to help them on that journey and develop a practical solution to get to net zero. So Atkins Chemical Engineers work with our water sector clients, looking at their greenhouse gas emissions and their energy consumption, and we support them uh, identifying opportunities to reduce those greenhouse gas emissions and improve recycling and resource recovery. Gary Strange helped design the new site at Basingstoke and says the partnership with Atkins delivers huge benefits. So we've been working with them to look at how we could recover ammonia as a, as a gas or a liquid, how we can recover phosphate to start selling as a product to offset manufactured fertiliser, but other, th other really novel things like biopolymers and biofibres, things to offset manufactured plastics. It creates a time of huge change and you can either choose change to be opportunity or threat and we choose here it certainly to be an opportunity. 